I mean, I'm at work, so I can't, my phone kind of like real low, but I hear y'all now. Well, my name is Boss Pig. I'm from Dallas. Um, I'm a female rapper. Um, you know, I'm out here, you know, I've been, I started in Dallas. I'm, I'm my, my email is to branch off and do other stuff outside of Dallas or whatever, but right now I just been out here still putting on. Uh, for women that stick, you know, thick curvy women, uh, they kind of got a lot, like a little, low self esteem about themselves. I put it off for them and let them know that it's okay to be big and beautiful. Um, still, you know, still, still, still go hard because you're big, ain't like nothing, you know, it's about what you got and what you can bring to the table. It ain't about the size or how you look, so. Uh, well, I started like, uh, well, I've been doing music for about 10 years now, but I started like, uh, I, I, when I first started doing music, I like started like singing. I was on R&B, you know, uh, and then my brother was like, you know, you might want to start rapping. I'm like, rap? I don't know how to rap. He was like, well, you, you can rap because you top fast. So it's, a, it's, a, it's something natural. So, you know, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try it. So I just started like writing songs and, um, I started rapping. It just happened like that. <laughs> Uh, well, I have done, I have collabed with a lot of Dallas artists. Um, uh, Miss Peck, she one of them. Um, Miss Peck, one of them. Um, I did, uh, songs, um, So YT, my brother, Draco Cash, he do music, I do music with him. Uh, I mean, I'm still collabing right now if you speak with other people, but, uh, it's a lot of, like, collab. I'm doing a, I'm doing a collab with, uh, Mike Fresh. 
I'm from Dallas, a fat pimp. Y'all know fat pimp. <laughs> uh, so it's a lot of people that I'm actually doing collabs with that I thank, you know, thank thank them for the platform and for giving me the opportunity to be able to sign with them because you know, that's kind of major, you know. It's crazy because um, I had already seen you and had had my eye on you. Then I was chopping up with my guy Gangster, Terrence Gangster Williams, and he told me that um that he was working with you. I'm like, that's dope. So I was like, I'm, um, I'm I'd already been planning to um hit her up for an interview, but like I was saying, um she's working. I've been seeing flyers. South by, um, South by Southwest. You got a lot of stuff coming up. What you got coming up? Uh, yeah, I got also coming up. I got like three shows down there. South by Southwest. So I'm going to there. Um, the 13th through the 17th, I'll be in Austin. Um, I got some features I'm doing down there, some content. Um, uh, so I'm just like, you know, uh, it's really my big, my first time actually going to do a show down there. So I'm kind of excited about doing that because. It's been a while. Well, it's been a long time since I've been actually out of Dallas traveling somewhere. So. Right. Well, um, what else you got coming up? You got any performances coming up? Um, I got a performance coming up. Um, on Saturday, performing at ABI Lounge. Um, and I'm also performing at a Vibe Studio off of Camp Wisdom. I think Gangster was trying to call, but maybe was trying to I don't know. Did it freeze up? <laughs> uh -oh. It only freezes up when it starts ringing. Um, like I said, the female artist is on fire. Is any, any, any female artist in Dallas that you're looking forward to work with? <laughs> Can y'all hear me now? Uh, I think uh, Gangster was calling my phone, so my phone like went like. <laughs> yeah. Like I was saying, um, talked about some artists um, that you're looking forward to work with and that you're working with, and like I said earlier, um, female artists from Dallas is really on fire right now. Is there any female artists in Dallas that you're looking forward to working with? Uh, a, really a whole lot of uh film seeds. I feel like. Everybody in Dallas right now is doing something that's a female. I want to work with them. Um, I would say, like, Sarah's Kiki, you know, you know, she's one of my favorites, too. Um, you know, as far as, like, female, she's from Dallas, and she's working hard. Uh, Miss Peg, me and her already collab. She, you know, she's real good. Um, Goddess B, we doing a song together. Um, we got some coming up. Um, it's a lot of females uh, that I know that's really doing good. I mean, we're going hard. You got Smelly K. You got BB also. She started on Cypher. I did with her. So, I mean, it's a lot of fem females in Dallas that's going hard. And it's, they all out for the same thing. So we all trying to get to that spot. But it's like, I feel like we all get together and do a song. We can't lose, you know. If we all just come together, how, how can we lose against anybody? But it's so much competition. It's so much you know, cockiness and the hate and everything. It's so hard to get females together to, to be as one, to do stuff, so. Right. Then speaking on the um, cockiness and, and, and the hate and, and the competition, are you being more like a, a an aspiring artist, like you said, aspiring women? How, how do you stay away from getting caught up in the drama? See, I, I just stay humble, to be honest. I stay humble. I keep motivating myself. You know what I'm saying? I don't... I try not to cross lanes in nobody else's lane. So if it's something that they're doing, that they created, if it's not my lane, I'm not going to go to it. Like, you know, say I don't rap battle. Like I, I have to sit down and write my songs and write rap. So it's like the, the freestyling and all of that, I leave it up to them. I don't do all of that. But if I'm called to do it, if it's a challenge, then I will challenge myself. And so you know what? I'm going to write it out, and then I can just go in there and do it. Like it's a freestyle. And, you know what I'm saying, I still can win. But, you know, I, I just try to, like, stay, I stay humble as I can. I just, like, you know, do what I need to do for me and set my grounds and not worry about who doing what, who competing against what, you know what I'm saying? Because if it's my time to win, it's my time. But if it ain't, it's just, it's just ain't, you know what I'm saying? Right. Um, what are some things that you think you do that's different um, than other artists get your music and get your brand out there? I mean, what I do is I try to like I try to go for what I know. Like, um, I, what I did was I um, paid for my license to become a publisher. 
so I can own all the rights to my songs and be able to get paid for everything and not just uh, paid for doing the music and not writing the music. So I did my publishing. Uh, I, so I, I started my brand to where I got chips made and lighters made. Uh, I got perfume. I just launched a whole new perfume. I just dropped. It's called Boss Chic. And it got my QR code on there with all my music and my, my EP. I just dropped uh, on the 24th. Boss Talk, that's on there. So, you know, I, I'm, I do, I'm trying to do everything I can to make sure that I'm, my face is, is somewhere. Whether it's perfume, a cereal box, um, chips, everything I have. I, I've been branding myself in doing merchandise. So... Out there, if anybody wants to get, um, get some of your merchandise, how can I get that? They can, they can go to boss chick.com. If you go to boss everything pulls up. Uh, my perfume, the chips that I have, it's all on the website. So, um, my, my EP is on there, boss talk. They can listen to my EP for free. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta pay nothing for it. Um, if you got it on, if you got our platforms, it's on there too. But the easy way to be able to access everything that I got is on my website. Bossshoot.com. And, and for the people um, out there who catch the um, catching the interview or catching it later, go to the description of, the, of this video and all the links, the links to um, her YouTube channel, the links to her Instagram, and the um, Bossshoot.com website link will also be in the description of this video. So tell us about the EP you just dropped. I just dropped the EP. It's called Boss. I'll talk. Um, it got eight songs on there. My favorite one specifically is Life of the Party because it's, it talks about who I am and what I do. Uh, when I come at the shows, I bring energy. Um, I don't worry about who in the crowd. I don't care about two or three people in the crowd because sometimes when I go to shows, it, it ain't packed. It's like probably like two or three people in the crowd or maybe like five people. And I have to still, I have to still spark a, spark a fire regardless how many people in the crowd because I got to think about it that those people in the crowd don't know me. So if I'm coming to this show and this show, I can't get mad because ain't nobody in there. Some artists get mad like, dang, it ain't even packed. I'm going back home. I say, I'm loyal like this. So wherever I'm, wherever I'm performing it, I pull up and I show out no matter what it is. I don't care who in the building, how many in the building, because I still gain those, I still gain those people regardless. So, um, you know, life of the party, it, it, it tells a lot about me on that song, um, about you know what I do and when I when I come out, you know how how I bring the energy. Um, the EP is real dope. You know, it's all the songs on there. It's about just you know, it's about talking. It's about you know people that's want that's about out here that's doing their own thing. You know what I'm saying? That's getting their own money. You know what I'm saying? Not women on haters. All of that. That, that EP. You know what I'm saying? It's a it's it's for them. It's for people like that that, that like to turn up and party and you know what I'm saying and have energy and not you know all the haters that's out here they they ain't gonna no haters. I mean it's just you know it, it talks to everybody, you know what I'm saying, it, it encourages. It encourages them and it also helps them as far as like the jam side. It give them a jam and it give them an encouragement too. So it's real dope EP, so right. hey <laughs> and, and also like I keep saying man, Dallas is gonna start right now. It's called a talent how do you feel like um the city is receiving you? Um, I would say, I mean, um, it, it been a challenge at first, but they, they, they look at I, what I do is so, um, I have to be able to get my, 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 my appearance together. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a, I'm a thick girl. You know what I'm saying? So when I go out, um, I dress up, you know, I dress up. I have, you know, when I'm, when I'm working, I'm in a different look. When I'm at home, I'm a different look. You know what I'm saying? But when I'm in a, a concert or something, then I mean, I'm all about professional look. So everything is professional, everything's together, you know, so it's like, I don't just show up, you know what I'm saying, just showing up like I'm, I'm at home or I'm at work. No, I show up as professional, like everything I do is professional. So I have the merchandise, I have everything um, that, that, that explains who I am. And everybody, they always be around me, they always, they always say, you know what, you are a boss, you are a boss, chick. I see everything that you're doing, I see everything that you bring in. You're motivated. You you motivate me. You know what I'm saying. So I feel inspired. I I have people that I motivate to do this. Like don't don't give up what you do as an artist. If you like it, if you love what you do, you go hard for it. And this is what I want to do. I have I have four boys at home that look up to me. So if this is something that I really want to do, 
I'm going to go hard for it. And whoever believe in me, they believe in me. If they don't, then I'm going to make them believe in me that I really, I, I really does this. I really am about this. So this is what, you know, I bring to the table. Right. Also, do you feel like, um, do you feel like your city supports you? I mean, it, I would say that I do have support in Dallas, but of course, you got people that hate. I had people that come at me, uh, also rap battling and stuff, knowing it ain't my lane. They try to set me on rap battling. They try to, you know, they try to come at me like, you know, they wanted me to, um, you know, try, you know, go bad on me about some things, or they try to like push up on me or whatever. But I had to, you know, I, I had to let them know like you can't come at me in this type of way because I ain't gonna respond to you how how, how you want me to respond to you. So it's like. I had to be humble in that, and I be proficient, not handling like I like, like I, I supposed to handle. And I said, you know what? If it's something you want me to do, or you want me to rap better you or whatever, then my lane. But if you want to, I I'm not. If you want to pull up somewhere, and we could do a song battle, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I had people that could try to challenge me in some little, little battles or whatever. But I had to just, you know, I had to check it out because that is something I do. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a drummer queen. I don't start drama. I don't start mess. I don't go around here telling I'm the hardest, I'm the hardest, because people can see what I do. They can, they, they, my, my music speaks for itself. So when I go to the club or perform, they hear me perform, they already see I'm hard. They already see my music go hard. They see everything. So at the point of me telling people, oh, I'm the hardest, I'm the hardest, I let them see for themselves. You know what I'm saying? So my music, my videos, you know what I'm saying, my brand, everything that I've done, I'm, I'm, I'm using good quality for it because I pay my money for it. So it's like I pay for good quality so people can get good quality out of me and not just get no good music, but they get the quality too. So, you know what I'm saying, I have to I have to boss up for a little bit. You know what I'm saying, just to let people know I'm serious about my music and I don't mind put, investing in myself when it comes to this stuff. So. Right. Definitely boss up and invest in yourself on good quality videos. That's one thing I noticed. I said, oh, you got some fire videos. Um, you got the merch. You got the merch going on. So, um, is there anything else you want to do outside of music? Um, I, I'm working on a a, a podcast. I want to do a boss talk podcast. Uh, that I want to be able to have it for just only, uh, be able to have artists like, you know, from Dallas underground artists. Sure, you know, sure spotlight on different artists because we don't get spotlight enough. We don't give out, we don't get our flowers enough as artists. So, my goal is to try to create a podcast where I can give uh give artists their flowers, uh, and be able to uh, encourage other artists as well that feel like they're being slept on or feel like they can't, you know, they they quit and they can't give it up or they don't want to keep rapping or whatever. I want to create a platform to be able to encourage people on a daily, like don't give up. Then, uh, no matter how hard it get. And we could talk about different pop. We could uh, do different like topics every day or whatever. So I want to do something like that. That's the kind of boss talk, like boss talk uh, um, podcast, where it's giving people a chance, a platform, and it also it be able to be uh, you can learn from it as well. Right. And for the people out there who's not familiar with boss pick, what's um, the first single or project you um that you go check out first to find out who you are as an artist? As the artist, uh, you could basically you could type in uh my my uh, boss chick on YouTube. Uh, I just say check out the energy. The energy is a real uh dope song, um, and it basically tell you that you know, no matter no matter who you're around, you gotta give them energy. You know, your haters give them energy. They fuel off of that. You know, once you get that, once you you know give them the energy, they give them the, they give them the, the power to keep on hating on you, and they give you the power to keep winning. So let the energy overpower you, and you just keep you gotta keep pushing through it all. You know what I'm saying? So the energy, uh, I would say that's that be the good song to listen to right now, or like for the party because it gives you a vibe, and it's a different type of uh, a song. You know, it's a different, uh, it's like a different type of vibe. So you know, everybody not used to kind of like that that uh, Jamaican kind of vibe feel, but it's, it gives you a vibe feel like you just you know having a good time and. You know, you with your people and all of that. So I feel like life of the party and energy kind of tell you more about me. Um, and it'll, it'll give you a, a vibe so that you'll be able to, uh, you know, you'll be able to turn up. So, <laughs> yeah. And by you being a mom, um, an artist, an entrepreneur, what's some advice you would give to um, other upcoming artists, especially females? I would just say keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? Um, it'd be hard, especially with kids. I don't have to go to shows many times, have to leave early because of my kids, or have to make sure I put them in the bed on time and stuff like that. So it ain't easy being a mother, but 
You gotta you gotta push through it. Cause if you don't get up and do something and push push through it, you'll never do it. So it's like you you have to step foot to see what you can do first before you can just be like, you know what, I can't do this. Never say you can't do something until you try it. Like I don't I don't been late plenty of time to shows and still still be late, but I still show up. And now you had your had kind of went out. Yeah, <laughs> Gates was calling me. He'll be all right. <laughs> um, well, another question I want to ask you, and, and speaking of gangster, right now, uh, gangster, he on far, he he got clout. So how did it make you feel when um when, when, when people who probably can really help move your career um embrace your music? Um, I mean. I feel really good about it. I feel like that, you know, he he not because a lot of people that been, been trying to help me with my music, they been after something like they want to sleep with me or mess around with me or something like that. So I feel like that by gangster being you know you know real solid with me, he ain't been trying to like try me or you know try to like put you know in my head that he want to mess around with me. But he really want to help me help my help me with my music because he believes my music. So it made me feel good knowing that somebody actually was leaving me and want to actually help me with my music and not even try to like be on you know be in my pockets. Like they just like you know what I want to help you. I believe your music. You know I, I want I want to see you win, and I'm here for you. So that that made me feel good about that because he's solid with it. Since I met him, he ain't never changed. He's been the same person since I met him. So. Definitely, um, definitely what's up? Then by you um. Starting off doing R and B singing, and um, and then becoming an artist, a rapper. Who are some um other artists that um inspired you? Um, well, right now, well, I would say the ones who inspired me as far as rapping would be like Trina, um, Kaya, um, cause I have like a lot of songs. That I've done as far as twerk wise, I I I I'm the queen of twerk music. Like I like making twerk songs. So uh, I would say Kaya, you know, Trina, um, those basically inspire me as far as like to, you know, do music or whatever, keep rapping or whatever. Um, I had people inspire me like my brothers, and uh, they were just like, you know, you got it, keep going. You know, I put music out there. People got me feedback, of course. Uh, sometimes I had, uh, you know, when the show, with the, with the showcases or whatever, I seen, like, Lil Runny, motherfucker was in there, uh, had paint, I was them, they was just like, you know what, you got it, you know, keep going, but get good quality. That's how you need good quality. So, you know, I'm like, you know what, bet. So, they, I, they inspired me to be able to go put more, more money in my music to get good quality so I could be able to have the quality and the music, and I can't, I couldn't lose from that. I was definitely about the quality. I had to step my game up myself. Like I said, uh, <laughs> the, the videos is definitely dope. Um, like I said, I was already hip to you, and then like I said, it just happened to be a coincidence that um, one of my partners was already um hip to you, so you definitely got what it takes. Um, you work, you know what I'm saying? Um, putting out um different merchandise. You know, you kind of really trying to um spread your brand. So um, what are your definitely. things you think you're doing um? Not to really be local, just to, to branch out. Besides going to um South by Southwest, uh, I, I'm really planning on doing shows like anywhere. Uh, I got this lady. Her name is Lisa. Uh, I've been trying to like hit up like left and right. She she got some shows outside of that. She got Houston. She got Las Vegas. She have a lot of shows outside of Dallas, and I'm trying to get with her so that I could be able to get my get my brand in every type of city. Like, uh, you know, it's like I said, it's hard with being a mother with kids because my kids are young still. But I had to make a way for my kids to be able to still get to school while I go to Austin. So my baby daddy was like, you know what? I got you. Just go ahead and go. I'm like, I'll save money for Uber or whatever because I'm to school, but I'm not going to pass this opportunity up no more. I did it. I did for like every year I, they came. I didn't go. I didn't go. I made up some excuse. But I said, you know what? I got up on my behind, booked that room. I said, I'm going. I'm going there, and I got three people. That people was like, you know what, about she, I'm gonna give you a slot. I'm gonna put you on, and that's what it was. I had three shows before I knew it down there, so I'm ready to go. I'm ready to turn up. up. That's definitely where you need to be at South by Southwest. <laughs> so, I don't want to hold you up. I know you got something going on right now. Um, one more time, tell the people what can they, what's the next project they can be looking for from you. 
Uh, the next project will be a twerk album I'm doing. Uh, and it will have Fat Pimp on there, Mike Fresh. Uh, it's going to be for the summer. So uh, I'm also working on this stuff ASAP. I got a lot of stuff I have to do as far as uh, feature-wise um, and stuff like this. So it just kind of be kind of crazy because I'm going to have to do features and then shows and all of that. But I'm getting to it as I can. But uh, the, the twerk project will be out by, uh, I would say, by before July. July. Because the summertime is when I'm going to put it out. So it will be called... Um, I'll, I'll, I'm thinking about either it's gonna be um twerk at the city, twerking twerk at the city, or either gonna be like uh about twerk twerk theme or something. I don't know. I haven't really I haven't really just uh figured out what I'm gonna name it yet, but it's gonna be a twerk album for everybody that wanna know. It will have like uh seven songs on it and it's gonna be uh dope. So it'll be number twerk music on there for all the ones like to twerk or dance, all the strippers or whatever. Uh Fat Pimp gonna be on there, Mike Fresh. Uh, and I might have another artist that I'm going to feature on there as well, but it's something dope. Definitely. And are you doing any features? Um, I, I mean, I'm trying to stay away from features a little bit right now, but I I'm, I got a few that I'm doing right now that I promise that I'm going to do, so I'm going to try to get those out the way. Um, uh, stuff like this, so, um, yeah. I mean, but yeah, um, I'm doing a few of them right now, but I mean, as far as working with people, I don't mind working with nobody. I don't mind collaborating with nobody. Um, you know, I'm not no tech. I'm not gonna text you, ask your money, and like that. Uh, it'll be a fee, but it won't be a small fee. Uh, for me to do a feature with you or whatever, I don't mind. You know, work with nobody. Um, you know what I'm saying. So just let me know if I can sort of squeeze you in somewhere. I will. I I am doing shows and stuff right now, so I'm kind of busy doing a lot of stuff, but I will squeeze it in. So just let me know. And one more time, um, let the people out there know where they can um, they can find you at, follow you, check out your music. Um, really, all platforms, whatever. If you got Pandora, um, Amazon Music, Spotify, it's on everything. Um, so you can go, you just type in Boss Chic. You can put it in your Google, your web browser. Everything pops up for where you can be able to find me at. Um, I also got a website, and it's got Boss dot com. You could uh, follow me there. You can subscribe there. Everything pops up there, videos, uh, my EP, the, my merchandise, everything. So you can find everything in one walk right there. That's definitely what's up, and I appreciate you for coming through. Definitely going to stay tapped in. One thing about it, once you come on Hank and TV, um, lock in, and whatever else you're doing, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure I keep sharing it. We're definitely going to have to do this again to see how, um, how, how things went for you at um, South by Southwest. Yeah, thank you so much. I'll be glad to uh, come back and thank you for having me. You are welcome. Have a good day. All right, let's go. That was Paul's kick right there. Like I told y'all, man, I got this new setup. I had a blunder. I had a uh, I had a brain freeze. I had a blunder. We definitely gonna work it out. We're gonna get things rolling. I wanna thank everybody for coming through. Um, yep, I know y'all saw the. I know I've been um, I've been posting this Broadway interview two times and it didn't go through. But we we're supposed to do it uh. Last time we were supposed to do it was his birthday, so I know it was his birthday. It was getting lit. Anything was going later, later on, going live and stuff later on that night. But we definitely about to put it down. Um, this Tuesday the fifth at um six p.m. Central Standard Time. I got that interview coming through with Broadway. Then on Thursday, um, March the seventh, we got um I am Bad Goddess. That's another um um Dallas female artist. I don't know what it is. And see, the females is working. The females is out working the guys right now, man. And um, Dallas is on fire. I, I don't understand why ain't nobody the they, they on their way. I ain't going to say nobody in the blue, but I ain't going to say why more people have been blue. But um, I'm definitely hanging TV, definitely making my rounds around the globe. You know what I'm saying? I know I've been having a lot of Dallas artists on here, but I'm definitely about to start tapping into some other, um, some other cities. I've had to have some people reach out to me. As you know, I had shut down for a while because I was moving. Like I said, I'm figuring out this new setup. I'm still getting stuff together. Um, she's definitely going up. All her information, um, the link to her website, bad, um, ballschick.com. It's going to be in the description. It's the description for her YouTube. It's the description for her Instagram. Everything going to be in the, um, in the, um, in the link to her Instagram. Everything going to be in the, in the description. Just give me a minute. I got to go through and fix it because I had to hit the live button. Went live on the wrong. I don't know what happened, man. I went live on the wrong page. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm definitely gonna figure it 
out. But uh, like I said, man, I want to thank everybody for coming through. Oh, also, I usually had a, the, the, the link pinned, but I haven't had it pinned. I'm going to start posting my IG. If you ain't follow me on IG, follow me on IG at Hankin TV. I need everybody to go out there and vote for me, man, for a podcast of the year for the 2024 Dallas BET Award. Um, if you all post a link, you can go um, go to Money Man Rado's page, scroll down because it's down there. Go to the post and say um, get all the nominees, get all the um, all the um nominations on there. Podcast of the year, here's the of the year. Go to that podcast of the year, man. Tag Hanging TV. I'm definitely gonna be down in Dallas for that event um in August. I've been counting the votes. I've been trying not to count. I've been trying to just sit back and see what happened. I've been counting the votes. Um, and Hanging TV really kind of I'm up there. I just need everybody just to make sure I get locked in because it's still got some time to go. Um, for the final votes to come in. But man, I need y'all to go and tag me. Also, when y'all when we be live, we be in other people's chats. Y'all see me drop down. Somebody might speak. I might not speak. A lot of times, you know what I'm saying, I just, I'll be doing something, I'll just put something in the chat for the engagement and put my phone down and put it in my pocket and probably miss something, so don't think I'm being funny. You know what I'm saying, if I see you, I'm going to speak. Everybody know I ain't no funny acting cat anyway. But we definitely going up, man. Hit me up, man. Get y'all a copy of um, Hanging in Love with the Book. Hanging in Love with the Game, the book. Hit me up for your Hanging merch. I got the t-shirt. You know it's about to be summertime. It's the winter. I also got the long sleeve. Matter of fact, I got some shirts I'm going to give away. I got, um, matter of fact, right now, all I got is women's shirts. I got um, four large. I got two mediums. I got one small Hank and Definition t-shirt. They the ladies' shirt. If you want one, hit me up on Instagram, and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to give it to you. I'm going to go cover the ship. I was going to say send me $5 for the ship, but I'm even going to cover the ship. If, if I'm trying to get rid of these last two shirts I got laying around. Thanks, Joe, so blessed. Although I had a couple little blunders, somebody told me my mic was low. It's coming. Don't worry, I'm gonna get it right. I'm gonna. It's definitely. It's coming together. You know what I'm saying? You already know when we try new things, we gotta we gotta work it out. But um, I'm giving the shirts away. I think I still got a few books. Hit me up. I'm giving it away. Cause that's all the stuff that I got like on hand. On the next go around, it's all coming off the website. So I'm really trying to clear out some stuff I got around my house. Like I said, I got four large shirts, two medium, one small. The moment all I got is women's shirts. I got a, um, a few books left. I'm giving out. Um, Hank, get in love with the game, the book. It's dope. And it's a few people um, that's around that didn't got it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it gave it good reviews. I told y'all 2017, 2018, I was one of the top 100 African-American authors. It's a three-part series. I have wrote the first book, and I started going to, going to school for my bachelor's degree, so I had to put it down. I'm done with that. Um, I finally got my house on the move. I'm about to start working on part two. Like I said, I got some um, in-person interviews coming up. And, um, I'm about to change it up. We're going to be still doing interviews, but we also just going to be kicking back, doing hip-hop news. Um, just having kick. We're just going to be kicking. You know what I'm saying? Topping it up about topics. I'm trying to take Hank and TV, man, to the next brand. Man, to the next level. One thing I want to tell people, man, speaking stuff into existence and manifestation is real. I'm going to give y'all a small example. I remember probably about two years ago, I had vision. This, I didn't. I just had vision of this house. A house, how, how the living room and the kitchen was set up. And I used to be at work listening to my music. Next time I come a good, came across a good song, I'll save it to a playlist. Like, this is going to be my house for me. This is going to be my house for the playlist. This going to be my house for the playlist. Boom. Two or three years later, the house came, and I, and I and it, and it shocked me. I'm like, dang, the kitchen and the living room set up just the way that I had uh, had pictures in my head. And I got that playlist. I'm having my house warming them. I think I'm going to do it the last Sunday of March. Um, I just want to just encourage people, man. Um, keep going. Manifestation is real, man. Um, even when things get down, man, you still got to keep going. Don't give up because you got to realize things sometimes going to get worse before they get better. I got to say, I'm, um, I don't know if I'm going to do it on my platform or somebody else's platform. I'm going to go ahead and tell my, my whole my whole life story. Because like I was telling y'all sometimes, man, through some of the things that I've been through, man, and, and, and some of the things I accomplished, besides doing 15 years in prison, I had some other trials and tribulations. And for me to be where I'm at today and steady growing, man, it, it, it's definitely amazing, man. That's one of the things of Hank and TV, man, to, to encourage and inspire people. 
when I first started out, which I'm still going to do, um, my whole thing was to do prison stories. Because I, prison, man, it was like a, a, a real life changing experience. And I didn't want to see no, 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 no young people really go through that, man. Because if you ain't, if you ain't cut, I mean, it's different now. But when I was going through it, if you weren't cut from a certain cloth, you weren't going to make it. But, but, but now in this time and day, all a person got to do is snag their pants, throw them a, a, a backpack, and give them a strap. And they, they consider them street niggas. But um, that was the whole purpose of Hanging Kiki, man, just to inspire people, man, and encourage people. And when I first started, started out, I felt like I, I, I had too much of an edge, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like to smoke my mouth, I like to drink my coffee. I didn't kind of clean my language up due to the um the profession I'm in now, the things I do. I can't be running around uh, talking all ghetto, but I feel like I had, I, I, I feel like I was too edgy. But then, boom, we had like the, um, Prison story channels come out, uh, the street nigga channels come out, so things are starting to change, man. But like I say, man, I just want to just encourage people, man, because I know in the world, man, I could have been through some of the things I've been through. Also, spent time in prison, man, and then got out and let people who ain't did no time in prison or been through half of the stuff I've been through. So if I can do it, man, I know anybody can do it. So I definitely want to encourage people. Man, other content creators, I want to tell y'all, man, don't pay. I don't pay attention to the numbers. Don't even pay attention to the numbers because it ain't about how many people see it. It's about who see it, man. You never know who watching. You know what I'm saying? I ain't in here for um, the shits and giggles. I'm trying to get me a, a Gillian Wallow deal. And it's definitely coming because, like I said, y'all see, the game is definitely stepping up. I had always had the microphone and the uh, lights, but I just never, I never had really the space to, to expand it. But now, we definitely going up. Expanding. I also want to thank everybody who came through for the um, Hank and Kiki birthday celebration. We had a ball. If y'all didn't come through, man, go through and check out the um, check out the replay. All we did, we played um, I played past artists too. You put it on the show. We had a real good time, man. I done went back and watched it a couple times myself, man. Definitely have, man. But um, like I said right there, that was Boss Chick, um, dope female artist out of Dallas. Tuesday coming up. We got Broadway coming up. Mahaya, 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 Mahaya. What's up, Mahaya? Boy, Mahaya, I'll be feeling your pain, man. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be rooting for you, man. Don't worry about it. We're going to make it, man. But, um, we got, uh, like I said, we got Broadway coming up. He's coming this time for real. First time, um, something came up. He had to reschedule. Second time, it was his birthday. And then, really, I had some kind of going on in the background. But this time, he's coming. Then Thursday, we got I Am um, Bad Goddess, a dope female artist out of Dallas, Texas. Um, Dallas is on, Texas period is on fire right now with the music. Um, be going up. Like I said, man, be looking for, um, I'm about to start doing uploads. I got some um, in-person interviews I'm about to do. I'm about to go out in the field. Brother about to break. Got me a nice, um, nice strong. I'm about to just get some good footage. And also, like I told y'all, man, I, I'm the first. When I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. When I came to Dallas, I went to the AT&T Stadium, took me a tour, to, took a tour. I still got that footage, so I'm going um, to upload the footage of the tour. And then, when I moved, I had plans to do a, um, a before and after video, um, what they call it, a walkthrough video. But I was so much in a hurry trying to get my stuff set up, I forgot. But what I am going to definitely do, I didn't get the before footage. I'm definitely going to do a um, Hank and Kiki Estates um office tour. I'll do that for y'all and I'll do a little house tour. It is about to be good content, man. It's going to be something different, something to switch up, get us away from the bullshit, man. Just something, you know what I'm saying, to keep us stimulated, some good entertainment. But I want to thank everybody for coming through, man. Also, if you ain't got your memberships, man, go ahead and get your memberships, man. Um, Don't be shy to hit that super chat, hit that cash app. We going up. But you see where the money, when I, I don't even really be asking, but you see if I get it, what I do with it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't doing nothing but like Balls chick said, and putting it into the bread, man, to be able to produce better content for the future. I just want to thank everybody for coming through, man. Smash that like button, and if you ain't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I had a couple of technical difficulties when we first came on. I'm going to go ahead and hit y'all when we was on. What people got to really understand, nobody got to support you, first of all. So I used to take that shit personal. I used to be like, Damn, nobody's supporting me. Nobody's playing my records. Nobody's really rocking with me in a city like that. And then I realized it's not personal. You Never. just got to make somebody, you got to make them a believer. If they don't believe you tomorrow, 
cool. Focus on who is rocking with you, and then you circle back and you come get them on the on the hey, way back. Hey man, it's your boy Money Man Rado, man. You hanking with Hankin TV, man. You know what it is—the biggest, the biggest platform, man. They made it. New money, big blessings, same haters. Get your mind, big most. How you horrors doing today? I, or I ain't want none. I just kind of tell you I was back, bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and give everybody like a, a definition of hanking. Um, in Dayton, you know, um, people selling drugs, they called it hanking. You know, if a nigga was selling a lot of dope, they like, you know what I'm saying, I'm hanking. Yeah. So what I did, I did, it took and put a, um, a positive spin to it, you know. So I took the word hanking and I made it stand for um, where you can supply the demand and consistently turn a profit. This is a certified hood classic. We have been had money, money ain't nothing. Without us being together, it don't do no dip. It don't make no difference if you the the maid or if you the motherfucking bodyguard. Everybody get extras around here, French benefits. Everybody travel from place to place and kick it with each other, and every place is like home. Love child got that sauce. Let's get it. Yeah. Welcome to my city, Westwood. They know how yo. Me and West players and hustlers check the body. They call me Hankin' for a reason. If I said it, then I done it. I supply what they demand and make a profit from it. I'm in love with the game. Run, hop a Norris Cold. Oh, how your player self made. Gym City, we on gold. M double G, yeah, money go get us. Real niggas bout that life. Niggas can't up with us. They call me Hankin' for a reason. If I said it, then I done it. I supply what they demand and make a profit. They call me Hankin' for a reason. If I said it, then I done it. I supply what they demand and make a profit Let's for me. I salute to all the us, J, Charlie Bugs, and Round Keith, Denny, Burt, Earl. Yeah. If these boys in the Alice, Chino and Lil J, J, Mac and Carly Young, Skane, Key, and Diamond Cut, DBM, you know we own. Yeah. I used to cook the beat, I did corn, shoot the three. When he played for the heats, then I flooded the streets. Hustle gang, that's my squad. That's my motherfucking team just might be your worst nightmare or see or you a dream we all about the money up the system they corrupt ain't no credit straight cash so i got my hustle up they call me hankin for a reason if i said it then i done it i supply what they demand and make a profit from they call me hankin for a reason if i said it then i done it i supply what they demand and make a profit from me hey. Matter of fact, after you leave here, you end up getting your teeth on something and coming up with something better. You know what I'm saying? Like a new car, new house, maybe kids get to go to school, private school, pay for courtesy of the mob. You know what I'm saying? We pay. You know what? That's simple. A lot of niggas don't like to spend their money. We love to spend our money. We can't take none of this shit with us. None. Ain't no armored trucks pulling up at no funeral. Simple. My boy Hankin TV, that's my dog. He gonna be on the channel real soon. I think tomorrow, man. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to Hankin TV, man. You feel what I'm saying? That's my boy. He put dope content over there. Hey, y'all. Uh, it's your girl, Sue Rocco, with the Boss Bitch Podcast. Hey. What we doing? We got out here. The baddest bitch in the city. What we doing? Yeah, it's my chicken. I'm going to be on it, man. Hey, I got you for the hottest city in the city right now. Yeah, I do. Give them a big energy right now. Really? And what's the big energy for? Shit, I mean, when I come out, I'm giving a big energy. I'm giving all I got. Let's go.
energy, energy. I'ma pop my shit, give him energy. We will fuck with the feet, not for energy. Set him up, give him nothing but this energy. Energy, 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 energy. I'ma cut the ass off, give him energy. Let him know I ain't fucking with the enemy. I'ma give him what they want, call it energy. Uh, energy. Energy, I'ma pop my shit, give him energy. We will fuck with the feet, not for energy. Set him up, give him nothing but this energy. Yeah. Energy, energy. I'ma cut the ass out, give him energy. Let him know I ain't fucking with the enemy. I'ma give him what they want, call it energy. Uh. I'ma start this first like this. Go come around me if you ain't lit. Negativity, I ain't with. I don't give a fuck who you is, boss chick. I'ma get ass the bitch. Don't like how I'm stepping in shit. Too many haters, they sick. I'm winning, I'm back on my shit. Let us wake up and get lit. Tell it put me in the mist. Oh, shit. I am that bitch. Nobody rippin' like this. Yeah. Ain't nobody steppin' like this. Uh, I'm a thick bitch with a twist. I ain't never seen a bitch like this. Kill it, I should be rich. Oh, created a buzz, now I'm hot. Uh, when am I ever gonna drop? Uh, energy cannot be stopped. Cause I'm not boss, so I piss to the ops. Uh, energy. Energy, I'ma pop my shit, give him energy. We will fuck with the feet, not for energy. Set him up, give him nothing but this energy. Energy, energy, I'ma cut the ass off, give him energy. Let him know I ain't fucking with the enemy. I'ma give him what they want, call it energy. Ooh, energy, energy, I'ma pop my shit, give him energy. We will fuck with the feet, not for energy. Set him up, give him nothing but this energy. Energy. Energy, I'ma cut the ass off, give him energy. Let him know I ain't fucking with the enemy. I'ma give him what they want, call it energy. Uh, energy all in their mix. Tell them hoes, cut me a check. Never switch up. Energy is solid as fuck. Heaven, I never let up. Tell a hoes to level up. Tell them run a couple bucks. Buy the bill like a truck. Pussy got me, she a slut. That's why your nigga he took. Pussy so good, he in love. Made him a fan. Yeah, I'm all up in his head. He wanna be in my bed. I tryna cook. I tell that nigga what's up. Cause all this money, I'm up. Watch the guy, can I be touched? Hey, get your ass out the cut. Lip in the up to the club. Look at all up in my cup. Ugh. Energy. Energy, I'ma pop my shit, give him energy. We will fuck with the feet, not for energy. Set him up, give him nothing but this energy. Energy, energy, I'ma cut the ass off, give him energy. Let him know I ain't fucking with the enemies. I'ma give him what they want, call it energy. Uh, energy, energy, I'ma pop my shit, give him energy. We will fuck with the feet, not for energy. Set him up, give him nothing but this energy. Energy, energy, I'ma cut the ass off, give him energy. Let him know I ain't fucking with the enemies. I'ma give them what they want, call it energy. Ooh.